Hello, 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 God's beautiful people. As promised, I am back with another word from the Lord. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Tara, and God uses me to uplift, speak life into, encourage his children prophetically, and to provide instruction. Also, um, well, if you are returning, I welcome you back, and I welcome you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I was going to say this is basically a part three, and I'm not sure if I'm going to label them that way yet, but I think I will, uh, just so that, you know, you can kind of go with them in order. I didn't realize that they were even like this. This is just how the Lord gave it to me. <laughs> so, and this particular word, um, I said in the previous video how God had literally brought into my news feed, this one particular prophet. And it was literally stalking me. Like it would show up when I'm on YouTube. It would show up when I'm on Instagram. It would show up when I was on Facebook. I was like, wait, this, I feel like I'm being stalked right now, Lord. And I'm like, clearly you want me to listen to whatever this gentleman has to say. And so I did. And I learned a lot. And, and it is crazy because I had been crying out to God about where's my people? Where's my people, God? Like, I want to learn more. I want to know more. Like, and I know that you use iron to shop and iron. God, where's my people? And he sent this prophet. And I realized I didn't give y'all his name in the last video. And it's Prophet Lovi, L-O-V-Y. And let me tell you some, I said, I hope I said that right. Or prophet lovey, one of the two. But anyway, um, one video, he was talking about how, what we eat and what we drink and how we um, treat our bodies in the course of a day can determine how we're able to hear God and receive messages from God and all of those things and how it's very important to live a fasting lifestyle and, and not fast and pray, but a fasting lifestyle, which means every day you only eat what is necessary to sustain you. That thing touched my whole spirit. Okay. And I have been doing that. And let me tell you something. Oof, by eliminating certain things and stop eating at a certain time and only consuming certain foods and drinking plenty of water, which I do anyway. But let me tell you something. I had been started to hear God and see things in ways that I never saw before. And last night I prayed and I said, God, okay, you've given me this instruction. Now I need you to solidify it. I need you to, to speak to me. I need you to show me. And for the very first time, God sent an angel in my dreams to speak to me directly. And the angel literally pointed at me like this word is for you. I mean, that was like no mistake. Like God was like, I'm gonna let her know, no, that this word is for her. And then in another dream, but that was for me personally, but in another dream that he gave me for his children, y'all, there was disciples, the, the father, son, and the Holy spirit. Like this dream was just, and you got to follow it. You got to follow the dream in order to get it. And I urge you all to just listen while I read it. And then I will give you the interpretation that God gave me, which as I read it, I honestly believe you're going to get it. Okay. So in this dream, there was a man and a woman and it was almost like they were in hiding. Like they would only see each other when no one else was around. Okay. Okay. And it was almost like they were wanted, like they were on the run or something. And the woman would sometimes leave, but she'll return to him often, but never stay. Never did he ever come to her. She was always going to him. Okay. And they were in this small house in the country. Now, we all know that your mother, your father, your sibling in dreams represent uh, God, Holy Spirit, uh, Jesus, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Okay, so this woman in this dream, her mother was there, her father was there, and a sibling. They were the only ones who knew of her and this man, okay? So then 
They knew about it, but they acted as if they didn't know. Like it wasn't for the world to see. But the world knew that they were wanted. The world knew that uh, they were in hiding. So it's like people started to gather in this area, in this region. It was like a cavalry. Like they was really out to get this man. Like he was being hunted down. And while the father was in the midst of it all, he was acting as if he was assisting the cavalry. Hold on. While the mother and the sibling was with the woman, they went and found the man and they were taking him somewhere. So they're riding in the van. The mother is driving. The sibling is sitting in the seat. The woman is in the back with the man. But as they're driving, the man is looking out the window at all these people. There was people lined up on each side. And as they were going, it was like there were different situations happening that had happened in his life. Like they represented his life and his past. So there was a woman, some woman that was sitting on side of the road. And he pointed to the woman that was sitting side the road and looked at the woman that he was with and said to her that she will come up from time to time, like in our lives. But if it ever gets too much for you, I just need you to call on me two times. And when he said that, I heard, Lord, Lord, <laughs> come on through God. Then as they proceeded down the road, people were lined up on each side who was after him. We came upon this place and he yelled out, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is it. So the mother that was driving the van pulled in and he got out. When he got out, he was greeted by some other men. And one of the men said to him, I am so happy that I will not have to report that my brother did not answer the call. Come on through God. And this man was dressed as a disciple. Come on through Lord. When we left that place, we left walking. And as we were walking along, there was the father. He had made it there. The mother, myself, and the sibling, okay? And the people were whispering, saying how we had helped this young man. And he said, the, the sibling said to me, no, I had said, don't say anything. Don't tell them anything. And the sibling said to me, they already know. And they already know um, what we did. And then he placed his hand on my shoulder. And although in the natural, these people appeared to be my mother, my father, my sibling, in the dream, it was the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it was Jesus who was walking with me and placed his hand on my shoulder. As I was waking up, I heard they are no longer a wall. Come on through, Lord. In the previous video, I said that the writing was on the wall. And some of them are running out of time. God sent me to tell you, he needs you to seek him for instruction. There are going to be specific instructions that is going to be guided by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay? There are going to be some instructions that Jesus provides for you. Certain steps that you're going to take to help bring this person out of hiding, to cover them, to shield them, to protect them, because this is what's going to be needed to getting them to where they need to be, to answer the call on their life. You know, when he got there, the man said he was so happy that he would not have to report that his brother did not answer the call. God is going to use you to help them answer the call. And as they were riding, 
When he saw the other woman, see, there are some counterfeits attached to these people. There are some counterfeits attached to your kingdom spouses. There are some counterfeits that are attached to kingdom connections, business partners, ministry partners. There's a lot of counterfeits going on. But God say, when you see them, just call on him two times. Lord, Lord, he got it covered. He don't need you to worry about that. God says, if you do these things, if you apply these things, if you follow his instruction, they will no longer be a wall that he will get them to where they need to be answering his call, surrendering to him, and they will no longer receive the writing on the wall, which means they are, will no longer will they days be numbered and being who God has called them to be. You play an important part in this. And I pray that this word reaches each and every one who it is intended for, because a lot of y'all have been sitting waiting one, two, five, 10, 15, 20 years, and you done missed all kind of instructions and God has been gracious. Okay. But God is saying it's some instructions. It's time for you to get, because if they don't answer the call, we're going to move on. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to, what they say, roll them up, roll high. However that song go, it's, 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 it's going to keep on moving. And it's not a coincidence that in the very first word that I gave, God talked about his soldiers getting prepared for battle. And in this dream that he gave me two days later, I was literally dropping this person off in what appeared to be like a military setting. God is not man that he shall lie. He is preparing us. We are his troops. We are his soldiers. He needs you to get in position so he can get them in position so they will no longer be a wall. So in order for them to answer their call, you got to follow instructions. So I'm going to need y'all to do what you got to do. Go on whatever fast you got to go on. Change the way you eat. Change the way you think. Get in a different place. Call on God. Surrender to him so that he can let you know what your next instruction will be. Because this is all for his glory. This is all for his purpose. It's not about you. It's bigger than you. And when you gave God your yes, that is by any means necessary according to his will and purpose for your life. I love y'all and I will be back with another word from the Lord.